y'all welcome back to my channel so in this video <laughs> we are gonna take it all the way back like all the way back we're gonna be trying the curling wave gel activator by s curl If you are new here, first off, welcome, Rain Gang. Welcome back for another video. <sighs> I think every natural, well, maybe not every natural, but most of us used to use this way back in the day. I know I did when I first started wearing like wash and goes. She was here, but the only reason that I am revisiting it and I blame Miss Faye. Came across our video. A couple of you guys have actually asked me on Instagram, have I used it? So I'm like, maybe this is just a huge trend going on in the YouTube world. I don't know. Again, I have not used this in years. So, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and pair it with my wet line extreme gel. Now, I don't remember if she did this as well. I'm gonna pair these together because I just, I remember this being super watery. So this is the anti-frizz with olive oil, argan oil, and paraben free. It's 10 ounces, restores the hair's proper balance, moisture balance by Luster's um, Curl and Wave Gel Activator. We know. So the second ingredient is glycerin. I mean, everything in here really ain't amazing. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use this one time. So you have 12 months to use this. They do have an expiration date on the back. This was $5.29. Oh, <laughs> um, oh my God! Did it used to smell like this back in the day? And when you walk, <clears throat> when you walk into like a herb store, <laughs> like that sells like incense and stuff, <laughs> and then like your grandma or something. No, says have you subscribed? Huh? Okay, down below, free, we have fun. So, we're gonna wet it down. Oh wait, hold on, let me see. Let me see the direction. First, we're gonna apply a moderate amount into hands and rub together. Uh -huh. Thoroughly massage into hair and scalp. Oh, you're not doing it, scalp. No, ma'am. Then apply Lester's Pink Oil Moisturizer. No, we're not doing that. It doesn't say anything about uh, wetting your hair, but obviously we're doing a wash and go and it just works better. So we're gonna go ahead and just take what's on the top. Oh yeah, see, it was just like it used to be. It's watery. Yeah, this, I don't know. Y'all know me. I be prejudging like a mug, okay? It be that discernment, okay? Mm. Mm -mm. Uh. Straight off the bat, I, I could not use this alone. Even if I shingled, it just wouldn't work in my favor. I don't know what it activated. Oh! Because I've gotten better curl definition off of a leave-in. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and head on to the to the wet line. This ain't my favorite one because the original one is no longer. Alright, so we have the wet line. How straight it got my hair. Oh, oh wow. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait just one second. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's go ahead and shingle. Hold on. Wow, wow, this like, let me just try a couple more sections before 
I'm a little speechless at the moment, and y'all know that's not like me. I mean, ain't that a blip? What you happened? Know? Okay. This is so hilarious. It just feels like I didn't put anything on this section. <sighs> this is the wet line. Now, I'm applying the wet line on top of the section that I already applied the um, activator on. Wow. So, so far, and I know I'm wearing a black shirt, my bad. So far, don't need like a whole lot of wet line. Now I'm sticking my hand back into the wet line to get my roots. Cause y'all know, look at this. You can already tell what section I got already as opposed to the root area. I always say this, if you're gonna get your hair flat iron, you're not gonna start the flat iron right here. So don't do that with your washing goes. So I go back and always get my roots and if you're new here, getting my roots really allows for me to have movement and longevity to my wash and go. But I am literally cutting back on how much product I use. Okay, wait a minute, dog. Lester, stop. Yeah, it really is activating my curls because look at like my curl is already doing this without even shingling like I didn't shingle this part and it's so curl y'all might just see me catch the Holy Ghost up in this video y'all might see me speaking my heavenly language don't play with me okay awesome. if this comes out I'm gonna be jumping for joy but we all know that we don't get excited until until it dries that's right so this section does not have any of the activator on it and I'm tempted to try it without wetting it but I'm just like this is dry like so let me just dampen it just a little bit Now I'm going to take this large section, to me this is large, and I'm going to take about this much of the curl activator. Again, when you rub it, it like literally disappears. And again, I'm not, I don't use any leave-ins when I'm trying new products on camera. Um, and this claims so much moisture, it has glycerin as a second um, ingredient, I'm, I'll be fine. So yeah, it doesn't feel like I put anything on my hair, like it doesn't feel like I put anything. We have the activator on there. I'm going to go ahead and subsection before I apply the wet line. I just dip my finger in there, get about that much. Might have been too much for this section. A little bit too much for this section. I got a little excited, you know. The application isn't as smooth together, but it, look at how it like literally weighs my hair. But once I put the wet line on top, it really kind of instantly clumps my curl. Like it's, this is not shingled. So it really does almost in a sense clumps your curls because it's activating those. Come on, Jesus. Now if this comes out sticky or anything, I'm about to be hot. So I'm going to wet this part a little before applying the wet line. I already have the activator on this section. So I'm going to take a little bit less product than I did uh, with the last section. And apply it. And together, look at how it clumps my curls. I mean, the only complaint I have is not even really a complaint. It's just the fact that the application isn't super smooth and like slippery for me. And it really makes shingling like a breeze because it's already like clumped the curls and kind of separate them almost. It's very strange. Strange. It's very strange. But I'm not complaining. Okay? I'm not complaining. The poppage, the poppage is saved and sanctified. Okay? And filled with the Holy Ghost. Poppage, it don't cuss. It don't do none of that stuff it ain't supposed to be doing. It just behaves. It just behaves. 
So when it goes on my hair, it doesn't really smell as um, strong as it does just putting your nose inside the or right to the, the um, product. So that's good. We're going to speed this up. Turn me on some music, some preaching, something. So we are finished, sort of, kind of, I don't know, like as I'm going on, some parts of my hair really bounce back where like this section that's way more looser than the other parts of my hair, I thought that it would kind of activate better, but I don't know, I don't know how I feel just yet. So this is how my hair is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and finish drying it. Look at this. Look at this. I stretched this side of my hair. On camera, it don't look that bad, but in person. And it, let me just, let me just finish my whole head before I say anything, but, okay, so you can see my shrinkage, right? And then this is the stretched side. Y'all know how I stretch my hair, but just in case you're new here and you still haven't subscribed or anything like that, Um, well first, I mean it's not horrible, you know, because this is mainly glycerin, sort of, kind of, um, you have to be mindful. So, do I like it? Um, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. I mean, I could pass. It's not a must, you know, if I was down to my last $5.29. I'd probably drive through um, somewhere and get me something to eat uh, instead of getting that. I really don't have that much frizz, um, even though it looks like it. I really don't have a whole lot of frizz. And if any of the frizz that y'all see is because I created the frizz. So let's get into this section. I don't know what went wrong over here. Now, this usually is my problem area. And I don't even wanna say problem, it's just not my preferred side of my head. I do have a whole video on how I style different textures of hair. I have different textured curls. You probably can tell if you haven't subscribed, and even if you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, you can tell probably that I have different textures in my hair. I just knew that this side was gonna pop. I knew it was gonna match the poppage that, what I like to call my good side. This side was struggling. And, and when I think of activator, okay, it didn't activate nothing. Now the filling, very, very, very soft. No crunch hold at all, very soft. The smell dissipated. Um, it didn't take a whole lot of time to dry. I think I would have really liked the, the results better had I did my hair to the side because, you know, this part would have been hidden. Um, but anyway, I'm just being dramatic. Y'all know I'm a little dramatic, all right? My hair does feel moisturized. It has definition, it has, you know, the shine, it has that. I didn't put like any oils or anything like that on my hair, any serums, serums, whatever. I didn't put any of that on my hair. I mean, girl, give it a try. You know, we quarantine. If you want to try it, this is the time. You know what I'm saying? It's not a must-have for me. It's not 
a good combination for my hair. Would I buy it again? Probably not. But yeah, so I hope this video was entertaining. It was helpful. I hope you laughed. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you are staying safe, well, and that you are taking care of yourself during this time. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.